for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Good morning guys happy monday today i don't even know what day we're on or week but we're getting close to the end that's all i know so last week i didn't film at all i just was not feeling it but anyway i just ate my breakfast i had some avocado toast and i am going to get dressed i'm still in my pajamas to take the dogs for a walk i just answered a bunch of my emails so i have some time to take a quick break and go for a walk and then today is a gym day. Oh, I didn't tell you guys yet. I mentioned a few videos back that I wasn't gonna go to the gym on Mondays anymore because I didn't like the instructor. But I did find another class at around the same time at another location. It's a little further away, but it takes the same amount of time because I take the freeway the whole way. So I'm gonna do that class at least for a while. However, I got an email last week, I think it was, that our rates are increasing again and they're increasing quite a bit. Um, I'm paying quite a lot for just a single membership. I'm gonna have to decide whether it's worth it or not to continue going. I really love this class so it's a really hard decision for me to make. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna try really hard to keep my membership. If I look at my budget and see that it's not something I can keep doing, I'm gonna have to cancel my membership which I'm really really sad about. We'll see what I do. I just got back from the gym. I stopped at Crispin Green and got their Bold and Buffalo Bowl and also their Dragon Fruit Smoothie. I had most of it in the car ride home. And this will bring me to my total calories for the day. I don't plan on eating again. It's like two o'clock anyway. So, cause this is about 520 calories and this is like 340. I have some stuff going on tonight and I'm not gonna have time to eat anyway. So this works out perfect. I'm just gonna eat this and then work a little bit and then I gotta get ready and head out. Again. But life is one big riddle of the future and what's been. Guess it's the way it goes, and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff and trying to remain so strong. I know. If I'm alone, I got it. So I finished working a little bit ago. I was cleaning a little bit. My house is a disaster right now. I just have not been doing the greatest on the weekends and my weekends have been a complete waste. I did a little bit of cleaning, cleaned the kitchen, did the dishes, I did the rest of my laundry and now I'm gonna go for a walk. just got back from my walk and I really don't feel like cooking right now but I need to. I almost got in the car and went to Raising Cane's. I am going to make the stuffed acorn squash that I had planned for the week to reward myself and make cooking a little more bearable. I'm gonna have a little bit of wine. This is the Honeymoon wine from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna measure that out and add that into my calorie app. Make sure that I account for that for the day. I do this sometimes just to make cooking a little more like something I want to do when I'm just really not feeling like it. Remember I was laughing in all the photos that you took But now it looks like acting 
like we were fiction in a book. Cause it's the way it goes, and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night, like I'm leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain so strong, I know it's good if I'm wrong, I got it, I got it. Delicious, delicious day today of recipes. That soup today that I made, the sausage and potato soup was a skinny taste recipe. It was very good. It was probably the best soup I've ever made, to be honest. I'm, I'm gonna leave the link to both of the recipes that I made today down in the description box. So if you wanna try them out, I highly recommend. The acorn squash was really good as well. However, I would probably have like a sweet Italian sausage instead of a spicy. I used the spicy today and it was too spicy for me. I'm not a spicy person. And I had another glass of wine. I realized that I still had some room in my calories to add another four ounces. So I had eight ounces in total. I am going to turn on some Netflix. I'm going to do a little bit of editing on the vlog that I'm working on for this week. And then I'm going to head to bed. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. So I am out here doing Uber Eats and Grubhub. I've done a few deliveries so far, but it's slowing down a bit. I don't live in a city where it's super busy and I don't feel like driving out to Minneapolis. It's getting dark earlier and I don't want to be out there alone at night. And I have a confession to make. I had some Culver's. I'm like really frustrated with myself. I like can't go a week without eating too much like too over my calories or eating out or whatever and it's like really frustrating. No wonder I can't lose weight and I'm constantly just maintaining my weight. I don't know what's wrong with me why I can't just stick to my diet for more than a few days. I feel like I wasn't as strict in the beginning either but I, it, the weight was a lot easier to come off. Now it seems like it's super hard to come off so I can't be as lenient as I was but I'm like finding it impossible to stay on plan like I don't know what to do at this point I know I'm just probably being dramatic it's just I feel like I should have been at my goal weight a long time ago it's frustrating that I did get to like almost the 140s when I stopped doing YouTube I think it's because I you know had built up some muscle from doing the STS program the first time and my muscles were just revving up my metabolism so I could get away with eating a lot more and I, I was really thinning out at that point and when I came back to YouTube I had gotten back into the 150s I think almost 160 and now I'm like mid 160s and I cannot get out of the 160s for the life of me super frustrating I want to get back to where I was but I also am too lazy to do the work just wanted to rant I don't know yet what my calories are at for the day but I know I'm not in a deficit there's my rant for the day. I'm just super frustrated with myself and I'm frustrated with this whole process. I just want to be done with this process. Hello, I just got home from work. I actually do have something that I have planned for tonight. Uh, it's not till later on though, so I'm not gonna do 
my date with myself tonight. I am going to take a shower and film because I still need to film for the weigh-in portion of a couple weeks back videos. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine, take a shower, get ready, and film. And then by the time I'm done filming and stuff, it should be about time to head out. I don't plan on like drinking or eating or anything like that because I am getting up early in the morning to go to a warrior sculpt class at the gym. I'm gonna feed the dogs, get some wine, and chill out for a little bit. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, Take it to Mars 